I first joined the club in um, September 2008. I had been at Hamilton before then and then I had um, dislocated my shoulder so I was out injured for six months and then one of the boys that was at Hamilton with was here and they'd said they needed a goalkeeper in full time so they suggested me and thankfully Tommy and Derek McInnes at the time had brought me in for the trial and managed to sign me for there. It's great, I've loved every minute of it, it's been brilliant as I say I'm grateful for Tommy and Derek for bringing me in it in the first place to, to give me the opportunity without seeing me and signing me so no, I'm loving every minute eh? Hopefully I can stay here and progress my career. Pick up a lot, it's, um, it's great to be in. We, also Tommy brings a lot into the goalkeeping wise it, and uh, with Johnny and Alan here as well, two experienced goalkeepers, so it's good and especially with Johnny as well because he started young, he made his breakthrough young at Partick Thistle, so there's a lot of tips you can get from him and sort of build your confidence, so it's good. Well, I went up, it started, it was just meant to be a, a six month loan deal, um, so I trained here every day, played there on the Saturday. Loved it, it was great to go out and be able to get the experience in that. Then once the, the loan deal had finished, they extended it for the last six months. So I was there for the full season and it felt that it helped me a lot. Gained a lot of experience, more confident, I felt better in myself coming back from it and into this season. So it was good for me. Yeah, yeah well, I got sent off three times, but whether there were three sending off is debatable. So I could say one, but just need to get by it and hopefully I don't get another one in my career. Two were slight, well, one was sliding at someone's feet and bringing them down apparently. Um, and my first one was at Hamden as well, my debut at Hamden, and I came out and wiped the boy out, I can say that was a sending off, but, and then the other one again was against Stevie May, so I'm not allowed to go there. As Ander has all the natural physical attributes to be a good goalkeeper, you know, he's big, big lad, um, kicks it well. Um, we got him out last season because I think, especially more so even for a goalkeeper, um, he needs games to be tested in, in, in match situations. You can't, you know, re you know, replicate um, them them things. And you know, he had a couple of sending offs, learning about when to come, when to not. Yeah, Xander's uh, doing really well in training, doing well in the under twenty games, and he, he's a keeper. You know, he's got a good physical attributes he's uh, you know well over six foot and he's still got a lot of learning to do but hopefully he can uh, progress into uh, a top class goalkeeper. Well I'm still, still young still only 20 so still got a lot to do but as I say I feel that I'm, I'm good enough I'm all right so I should be able to if I was ever needed I feel that I could go in and do the job but as I say I've got two great keepers and Johnny and um, Alan so um, it's not really my place to say but they are great, so I feel confident enough that if anything ever was to happen to them, that I could either step in and be on the bench and be ready to go on or whatever. On his touch! Well done, Paul! Close him back! Well done! Yes, Of course, it's important for a goalkeeper to be vocal and let his defence know that he's there behind him and obviously to let them know where, where to be. But um, as I say, I felt that being out on loan last year, obviously, I'm the first team, what, older men in that, that you'd be able to organised aim as well so coming back in it gave me that I felt that that was a, a stage of my game that I improved was my communication and letting folk know where I was and what have you so I felt that it was good It'd be great to be able to go on and play first team football at a high level. So, as I say, just need to keep biding my time. As goalkeepers are, it takes a goalkeeper a long time to get into a, a first team position because obviously your age and you can only play, you can only play one position. It's not like a centre midfielder where you can go and play on the wing up front if you're needed into defence. So, it's um, it's difficult, but you just need to bide your time and see how it goes.